hey guys what's up so in this lesson i'll talk about the science behind why we procrastinate why do we have that urge to procrastinate and how we can overcome it so definitely watch this lesson let's get started friends the science behind our urge to procrastinate so the objective of this lesson is to appreciate the importance of good work habits and time management decrease any tendencies you might have towards procrastination develop attitudes and values that will help you become more productive skills and techniques that will help you become more productive and overcome time wasting practices target audience is anyone who wants to stop procrastinate and opt an active life so here are the five things science tells us about procrastination that may help you see clearly your priorities uh, first is some people are genetically predisposed to put things off until later so you can blame your parents for this some people are more predisposed than others to take the bait when a new temptation or distraction enters the picture and similarly some people have more likely to display impulsive tendencies it feels good until it doesn't for the short run just like alcohol drugs etc it will feel really really good in the short run but in the long run it will kill you so while we all know that the end result of procrastination that is the feeling of panic anxiety utter exhaustion it is anything but desirable the short term boost it supplies keeps us coming back for more time and time again uh every time something enjoyable happens you get a dose of dopamine which modifies the neurons in your brain and uh, it will help you or it will make you rather uh, more likely to repeat the behavior and dopamine is a neurotransmitter that help controls the brain's reward and pleasure centers so if you procrastinate and if you feel good about it so you will definitely do it again and again similarly let's say heroin addicts are there so if you take heroin so you will become a heroin addict because there is a lot of pleasure associated with that the brain's decision making process is a constant tug of war the prefrontal cortex portion of the brain is responsible for taking in information and making decisions and this is the part of the brain that really separates humans from animals who are just controlled by stimulus and finally procrastination is the breakdown of self control a perfect storm of procrastination occurs when an unpleasant task meets a person who is high in impulsivity and low in self discipline and procrastination is called as the quintessential breakdown of self control as you can see in this photograph and uh, it's entirely within your power to beat back the forces of procrastination now these are the important points which you need to understand procrastination often stems from our mixed or negative feelings about a certain task we may be experiencing intimidation fear of failure lack of passion whatever it might be you because of these reasons you may view task as things to be overcome rather than experienced or achieved so that is the difference between the mindset so what is brain freeze it is the science of procrastination and our smart brain so let's see what is this so basically our brains are drug addicts and we talk about signs of avoiding so procrastinators prefer uh, people to think that they are just not making an effort rather than the fear of showing less ability to do something you are given something to do for example the brain will assess if the task will have positive or negative effect anxiety sets in if there is no immediate positive result expected sorry for the spelling mistake and since a positive result is not immediately expected the situation is out of control and uh, according to our brain it is very bad experience we are going to have and subconsciously we are afraid of the possibility of negative result we feel afraid of humiliated by and we feel very aggressive towards the task we should not do it at any cost so just to give a basic neuroscience as i am a doctor so i always love these things so the amygdala is the section of the brain which is associated with our emotional reaction and when we are overwhelmed uh, like we have to do many tasks or a difficult task to do there is a flight uh, there is a fight or resistance or flight or ignore reaction now both of these are procrastination the brain is basically protecting us against negative feelings so you have to remember these things and nor epinephrine chemical takes over it leads to lot of fear anxiety adrenaline gets pumped in and you somehow ignore the task completely now we are addicted to dopamine all of us are drug addicts all of us and which is produced by pleasurable experience so as long as uh, like a task has a higher historical likelihood or perceived future likelihood that it will produce pleasure so we will indulge in that activity no doubt about it and our brain is addicted to reproducing these activities and avoiding the others so increasingly psychologist and time management consultants are focusing on a new strategy which will help procrastinators see how attempts at mood repair are sabotaging their efforts and learn to regulate their emotions in more productive ways so this is how you have to get it done 
so whatever you want to do do it now because there are only so many tomorrows already many of us have lived for 10000 days and we just have like 10 15000 days or 20000 days more left so thank you for watching this lesson